Well, how's it going, guys? Welcome to another episode of Business Every Day. My name is Jonathan, and today uh, is going to be something a little bit special, a little bit different. Um, I need to have some workshop upgrades. So, I have these LED can lights, and uh, I do not have cans. I have an unfinished basement, and I don't have cans in my ceiling, though, and there's not enough space for them. I got these at a super good deal, so... Yeah, I'm going to modify these lights to work for my shop, and I'm going to be using the X-Carve to do that, to build some mounts that will go in between my joy cells uh, to wire in these lights. I will as well be moving my machine uh, to a more permanent location. Uh, I This is my mobile workbench, and uh, as you can plainly see, it's just too big for this location, and so just on the other corner of my shop, I have a spot that I think will work out nicely. Uh, it just needs a build. And so part of what's going to be going on today is I will be adding lights and I will be building a more permanent home for my x carve CNC machine. Let's get started. guys probably figured out a lot sooner than I did but uh, on the top of the clamps there are holes for you to put a drill and I'm sitting here putting everything back by hand and I can do it with a drill ah, good for me As you can see, that was 90% a successful carve. Um, I need to work on my home position location because I just ate up the top of my clamp. And so instead of coming across, I need to set the position to come around. But look at that. Perfect hole. I don't think we went into the wasteboard hardly at all. Look at that. <laughs> I gotta figure out something to do with this now. Let me show you my idea here. Is I'm gonna bend 
the spindles here. To push into the plywood. And that should create enough tension to where this thing won't pop out without a can. Look at that. Yeah, it still has a little bit of movement if I need to adjust it. And then I can put it in the pocket holes as well. And so I'll be able to mount this in between my joists. Um, cut this off, wire it into a socket, and we should be good to go. Look at that. Well, the next carve is done, which is awesome. It's already a being a force multiplier. So I got the one already done. I got number two on the way, and I haven't decided if we're gonna do four or six just yet. Maybe I'll just wire in four and see how, how it works. But once the lights are in, then we can work on moving this bad boy. kind of cool I got this little assembly line thing going so while I'm installing the unit I got X carve over here I should come up with a name for you buddy uh, is doing the cuts um, what I did notice I just need to make sure I haven't even installed the dust collector yet and so we got lots of dust out here but um, yeah, you just gotta make sure that you clean up the dust between cuts, otherwise it won't sit straight and then you'll get an uneven cut all the way through. Uh, but I got two lights installed. This will be number three and then four, five, six. Yeah, I messed up on that one, but oh well. We'll fix it later. Look at that. Assembly process complete. Let's go put up some lights. So one of the additional things that I'll be doing for my shop is adding in a primary circuit for my X-Carve CNC machine, which will go right over there instead of being on here on my workbench. Um, and so I need to figure out which breaker I'm going to use. Um, I have an extra and so I'm going to put it in and see how it goes.
looky here my friends this is an official platform for C and C work ho ho so exciting I need to figure out if I'm going to be shifting it more to the right or more to the left um, probably more to the right and then I gotta I'm gonna build a little gate right here to protect the the uh, little motor right here um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to remove this little thing up here yet just with the uh, how the dust collection system is gonna work and then I'm gonna wire in an outlet right here um, on its own dedicated circuit so that this thing can be powered up and then the idea is to have an arm come up here which this little guy will carve out for me and then my laptop can sit right here as I am doing my work so, but yeah, I got lots of storage underneath. Uh, not exactly sure how I will be creating my storage. Um, I'm sure a stock material will be here as well. And then I'm gonna be putting uh, bits and clamps and all sorts of other things on here as it progresses. But look, people, we have a machine, we have a platform, and this is gonna be its permanent home for a while. Well, permanent, that, that's not permanent if it's not forever. It's going to be its home until I decide to do something different or uh, this turns into two machines. We'll see. Well, all right, guys. What we did was we got the platform assembled. We got the CNC machine moved from my mobile workbench to a stationary position. Uh, we still got a lot of work to do. We you saw earlier that we uh, created brackets for my can lights that I will be getting online here hopefully tomorrow um, and go through that whole process. I'm going to bring a wire down and have a dedicated circuit for the CNC machine. So if I do the vacuum system and my other tools going at the same time, there's no issue uh, with cutting power um, or there won't be an issue with us cutting power accidentally to this machine. It can just go and keep on doing its thing. Uh, we will be building some racks and things for uh, different bits and clamps and all those other things. Uh, and we will continue on with this CNC journey. I'm super excited uh, about doing this and more projects with the CNC. It was kind of fun to really use it for the first time today in a way that was helpful. I was able to cut that stock material for those brackets that I created and <coughs> it was helpful. Um, I can't say that I would buy it just for the sake of building light brackets, but that is a first step in learning to incorporate this machine in my everyday and all the different things that I'm already doing and figuring out how this can make myself more efficient uh, and create more components that will actually make my work easier, templates and jigs and things like that. Um, there's a few other things happening behind the scenes that I will let on you a little bit later. This isn't just the CNC uh, channel, this is the business every day and the last couple of days have just been crazy with uh, a deal that's happening. Um, I'll let you in on that a little bit later. Uh, but yeah, the CNC is definitely the primary focus at the moment and we will continue on this journey together. So thanks for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. It's been so much fun to see you guys that are buying this and are anticipating it arriving and you or those that have already purchased one and are assembling it along with me. Uh, it's been super encouraging. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and I look forward to yeah, getting to know some of you better and growing this community of doing business in your everyday because uh, yeah, the whole point of this machine isn't just for me to build brackets. It's for me to actually create a business and income around. Um, I'll share a little bit more about that in a future video where I will actually talk about the process of me um, creating a business with this machine and what the strategy is behind it. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be good. I really look forward to the content upcoming. And thanks again for joining in. Catch you later.